Let us solve this problem, which involves two cylinders. The problem says both containers are filled with a liquid. And we have to calculate the volume of water in tank B or container B. So let us look at our formula on the right hand side. Volume is equal to cross sectional area times height. And for a cylinder that the cross-sectional area is a circular region which I'm going to highlight. This is a cross-sectional area and it is a circle. So the area of a circle is pi r squared times the height h. So let us find the volume of water in tank B. So we have to identify radius. The radius r would be half of the diameter 8 divided by 2 and we will get 4 meters now let's apply the formula we have pi up here is 3.14 we must use this value of pi so the volume would be equal to 3.14 times 4 squared times 5 which is the height and this is the height here 5 so we will just sell 3.14 times 4 fours are 16 times 5 which is 3.14 times 80 16 times 5 is 80 let's use our calculator Two hundred fifty one point two meters cube because this is volume measured in cubic units. Part two What is the radius of A if the area of the base is three hundred and forty meters squared? So this is the base. Let's look at part tank A now, container A. The base is a circle. And the area is 340 meters squared so we have to use the formula for area of a circle which is pi r squared pi r squared is equal to 314 we know that pi is 3.14 so this will be 3.14 r squared equals 314 let us divide both sides by 3.14 so we get 314 divided by 3.14 which gives and we can use our calculator 100 so r squared is equal to 100 but we want to find r so therefore r would be the square root of 100 we have to take square roots on both sides and we will get 10 meters so r the radius is 10 meters the radius of the piece okay so let me represent that on the diagram as 10 meters Okay. Calculate each if the container A holds 8 times the amount of liquid as B. So we worked out the amount of liquid that B holds and we got this 251.2. So now let's find out how much liquid A holds. A is a bigger container so it holds more water than B. So the volume of A is equal to 8 times 251.2 okay so let's work that out in our calculator we get 2009.6 meter cube 
let us now use our formula up here pi r squared h so we have pi r squared h is equal to 2009.6 okay we know that pi r squared for container a must be equal to 314 we know that Okay, that is the area of the base so we are going to use that so we can say h multiplied by 314 314 h is equal to 2009.6 okay so we have to divide both sides by 314 so h would be 2009.6 divided by 314 go to our calculators now we get 6.4 so h should be 6.4 meters okay this is 6.4 meters it is more than 5 and when we look at the diagram it looks like it is taller container a is taller than container b so that is our answers and keep practicing and all the best to you